Hello everyone and welcome to my vlog. Right, today's going to be quite an interesting one because I'm going to a company called Halcyon and I, this one kind of, it just came out of the blue. I was at a trade, uh, a trade show and V stopped to uh, talk to some people at their stand and honestly I wasn't particularly interested to begin with. I thought, hmm, what's this? But as they were talking to me, I realized that actually, it could be a life-changing product. Certainly, I have experience with exactly the problem that this is designed to fix. First, we've got to just put a little bit of juice in the car because it's over in Bristol, which is quite a long drive. Ooh, fancy new chargers. I tell you what, this place has got a lot more chargers now than when I was last here. We're at Lee Delamere on, on the M4. Anyway, got to get cracking because we're, we're running a little bit late. Traffic, not our fault. It's actually really pretty round here. We're, we're almost at Bristol now. It, unfortunately, the weather is horrific, but luckily what we're going to see today will be an indoor sort of thing. Also, I just wanted to quickly mention, we have passed quite a few solar farms today, just along the side of motorways. And honestly, I don't understand why people complain about them because you barely notice them. And that's when you drive literally 15 yards from the edge of the thing. What, is it spoiling the view from their helicopters? Is that the problem? Almost there now, so. This is actually very exciting. This is so Halcyon, they make uh, water conditioners. And whilst that might not sound like the most exciting thing in the world, actually it is, as anyone that has owned a water softener in the past can attest. They can be really annoying and take up a lot of space. Let's go see. We're going to go meet uh, Samantha, whose company it is. Hello, Hello. 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 Samantha. Hello. Welcome. Good to see you. Good nice to see you. Welcome. You. Hello. 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 Do you know Paris? Hi. Yes, we met on the video call. Yeah. So these, these are the Halcyon people. Hi. <laughs> I honestly, this is, I don't have a water softener anymore, but trust me, this is one of the most exciting things ever because they are a real pain. That's very kind. Okay, we, but you we have a solution. So. We do have a solution. Amazing. And it's, it's a good solution, we believe. I feel at this stage, I should just say a few words about why I'm so excited about the idea of a water softener. I used to live in an old cottage. It was actually two cottages. There's two cottages that had been knocked through and, and joined together. It was a beautiful old house. It had no insulation, which made it very cold. And it was in a hard water area which honestly, the vast majority of the UK appears to be hard water as far as I can tell. I've only ever lived in hard water areas. It did have a water softener. And the problem with water softeners is this thing ate salt. I mean, I don't know, maybe it was faulty or something, but I seem to have to put a massive great bag of the stuff in there. Oh, every like three to six months it seemed, which was, you know, ridiculous. It was dirty. It used power. It, it was expensive. The salt actually, you know, it's probably spending 70 to 100 quid a, a year in salt, which is mad. And on top of that, if I wanted to refill my glass of water in the middle of the night or something, which happens like surprisingly regularly, I have a choice. I can either drink water that tastes yick from upstairs, or I have to go all the way downstairs to the tap in the kitchen, which is crusty with lime scale, but at least the water tastes reasonable. It's not really the optimal solution. You know, it's not the 21st century solution. There must be a better way. And that is what I think I've found. And guess what? Still live in a hard water area. So why don't you show me what the, your solution is to the nightmare that is water softness? Okay. I speak from experience here. Okay. I am not a big fan. Of the actual water softeners themselves of or of the lime of scale? Water, of That's the problem. Quite honestly, I actually would take the lime scale over the water softener <laughs> most of the time. Okay. Although in fairness, it was a rented property. So if I show it to you first, and then if you'd like an explanation, I can give you a little bit more detail on it. But fundamentally, um, that little fella there 
wow. is the um, H209. Pretty small, isn't it? About the same size as a packet of Smarties, which I fully intend to eat in a minute. <laughs> it's the model that we use for 95% of UK homes. It's the right, uh, right one for most homes. It comes with different connectors and that sort of thing, but that's kind of detail for installation. But fundamentally, that little fella will go on your system right where the stop tap is, where the water comes into your house. Mm. So you'll have your stop tap and then your halcyon, and it will then treat all the water coming into your home, whether you keep that as cold water or you pop it through your hot water system, so it does both. And it will just temporarily take the minerals that are lovely and healthy for you, but uh, do create limescale because they, in their raw form, they will bond to everything, particularly your yeah. heating elements. And basically what it does is it just temporarily tweaks the minerals. It changes their shape and structure. And uh, it does it for about 21 days. So they change their shape and structure into a type of the same mineral that doesn't stick. What we're doing is within this little bit of pipe, we're basically taking the calcium carbonate as it comes in, we break it down, we allow it to reform, and the form of calcium carbonate that comes out this end into your house, going through your systems, can't stick. And it's only the sticking behavior of the mineral that's actually the problem, because if it doesn't stick oh, to anything, yeah, exactly. Yeah. No lime scale. It's the lime scale that's the problem. Absolutely. You know, it's not the taste of the water. In fact, quite the opposite. Yeah. I actually prefer the taste of, you know, hard water. You and many people. Most of the UK seems to be hard water. So, yeah, about 60% is, is hard water. A lot of places don't actually have a water softener and yeah. they all have taps that are gummed up with lime scale and I have no idea what's going on on the inside of the pipes. Well, I think that's the really interesting good. point because people quite rightly will go and use um, Vical to keep things looking nice yeah. and clean um, and that's fine, it does, but it's a chemical that we're adding into our system or they'll use Calgon in their washing machines and their dishwashers again to keep the system yeah. clean on the inside. Um, but the bit that we're not talking about at all is the fact that that lime scale actually is a really good insulator and the trouble is of course once you get a really good insulator and it's building up in layers and layers and layers the place it's building up is on your heating elements yes inside your boiler yeah. so what you're seeing there is a tiny sample of the um, figures that we've done for some good examples of the carbon and energy saving and therefore the financial savings for different types of households, couples, families, mm. new build, retrofit and so forth. And actually that graph in the, um, the corner that you can see is fundamentally, it's the most important figures, data we absolutely have. And that's showing just how much energy is wasted for every millimetre of lime scale on any heating element. So every one millimetre of lime scale Wowza. adds seven to 10% to its energy consumption, which is just insane because as a natural process, of course, yeah. it's just constantly building up and building up. It's something we really want people to think about and start to address. And with a halcyon unit, you, of course, can, you can stop it and then we can turn that around and we can start removing that lime scale so we can start dropping it back down the graph. I've, yeah? I've seen old, uh, you know, the sort of the, the water tanks with, a, with an immersion heating element in them. I've seen some old ones of those that have, you know, been chucked out by the plumbers and it's basically, yeah. I mean, we had an, an element that failed um, at one of our old properties and I had to actually get the plumber to remove it mm. and it, it took him about an hour to get the thing out because it was basically like trying to pull a lump like of concrete, concrete out, out yeah. of a hole that wasn't wide enough for it. Absolutely. It and bonkers. so, and we, we kind of ignore that in the UK, um, but actually that's costing us huge amounts in both um, uh, energy because yeah. our poor old element is having to heat up to a higher temperature and it's having to run for longer mm. to give you and me the hot water we want if it's fighting its way through all these layers of lime scale. So we're using a lot more energy to produce our hot water than we really want to. And frankly, with bills the way they are at the moment, none of us want to be doing that. Yeah. But it's also killing equipment early. So your immersion heater died. Well, why did it die? Well, only because of lime scale. So then yeah. you've got a big cost, but we've also got all that carbon involved that we're then trashing putting a new oh, one in yeah pe it's people just... don't think about it i mean you know if the plumber has to come to my house then he's got to drive here mm -hmm, the chances yeah. are it's a diesel Hopefully van an ev yeah <laughs> I, mean, I wish but at the moment for the most part yep. it's a diesel van even if it was an ev you're still wearing out something yep. which is you know used carbon to be created the energy probably used at least some carbon yeah. you know there's the 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 actual 
element that needs to be manufactured. There's, there's so many different layers to yes. the energy requirements and therefore the environmental damage that goes into repairing something or replacing it when you could have just designed one that lasted longer. Yeah. Or you could at least put something in that helps to protect all of that system. The bits you yeah, can see, absolutely. your lovely shower door and your taps, and the bits you can't see. And I've got to say, this does seem like a really elegant solution. You know, compared to the size of an ordinary water softener. And also, you know, I can't get over the taste of, of the water from water softeners. Mm. I mean, I've... Somebody, I can't remember who, told me that it was okay to drink it, but I could never get my head round that. Well, British Water's comment is that um, their recommendation is that if you have a salt softener fitted, you should have a separate drinking water tap into the kitchen. Yeah. Um, now, that's mainly to protect the people on the extreme, so very small babies and people <clears throat> with heart conditions and so on. But nonetheless, most people will or should have a drinking water tap fitted because you shouldn't really be taking in any more saline, any more sodium than we need it's not it's yeah. not great you're right we, it just we... doesn't taste very nice no and it doesn't taste very nice <laughs> Salt, salty honestly. tea not a winning not a winner so yeah we, we we're very pleased with what we have and it's very tidy so, and it lives a long time how long does it last for this unit yeah so this fella comes with a 30-year warranty so a domestic unit comes with a 30-year right. warranty. But actually, um, the reason we can offer that with such confidence is that we've got commercial units that were fitted in the early 80s that are still going strong. And they're in water that you and I wouldn't countenance domestically. Right. And so we haven't actually had any units wear out. We don't really know how long they're going to last. But if they've made it through so... 40 years, we reckon <clears throat> that's not a bad... Not a bad place to start. Yeah, so, so you can, you know, you can more or less fit one of these for a generation or two. So once it's plumbed in um, after your stop tap and it's protecting the whole house, all your bathrooms and kitchens and boilers and immersion heaters and so on, and, and then it's done. As long as you don't unplumb it, it's, it's just going to sit there quietly doing its thing. Mm. And the nice thing is once it's protecting you and all of that equipment, it's also not affecting the environment, which is the bit that we have an issue with around salt softeners and so on, is that actually they waste a lot of water and they put salt back into the waterways. The nice thing about this is we're only temporarily tweaking the mineral. So we're yeah. giving back to nature, kind of what nature gave us, and just holding her off while she's going through your system. How, how exactly does it work then? I can sort of fee, see something down there. Is this, is this sort of... Well, I'll, I can tell you so much and not everything, okay. so I'll tell you what I can tell you. So what you're seeing down there, yeah. that's um, our alloy, OK? Right. And that's shaped into a series of, like, fins and gateways like this, yeah. and they're all offset. And the two things that have to happen for us to make that change to the mineral mm -hmm. is we need lots and lots of turbulence, as the water goes through and we need lots of repeated contact of that calcium carbonate mineral with the alloy. Now if right. we get lots of repeated contact and lots of turbulence, it allows us to do what's, uh, what's called a, gal we create a galvanic reaction. Right. And what that does is, in simplest terms, breaks the CaCO3 structure down, travels through, allows it to reform as a different temporary, unstable form of calcium carbonate. Still healthy, but, one that doesn't but doesn't stick. stick. And that's basically what it is. And, and that alloy is, is, is the clever bit. Amazing. And that's why it lasts so long. Because it's yeah. alloy, you know, it's really it's not simple. going it's, anywhere. It's, it's solid state. As anyone yes. who drives an EV will attest to, uh -huh. solid state stuff lasts a lot longer than things with moving parts. You'd have to work really hard to muck this up. And I think that's one of the nice things, because we all know that actually humans are the problem with most systems. When we have to yeah. maintain, pay attention, top up, do any of that, we're not very Just good Just between at you that. and me, when I did have a water softener to fill up, 70% eh, yeah. of the time it had yeah. run out of salt. Yes. Well, there's that, and then you have to keep paying for it. Yeah. You know, yep, absolutely. we like simplicity, we like longevity, and that's what gives us our, um, our results and our sustainability, which we, we're very proud of. Oh, thank you for taking me through this awesome <laughs> looking product. I will have to tell my landlord to get one of these installed because um, we live in a hard water area still. Save him money as well. Absolutely. Is it possible to see one installed? Maybe taste the water? I think we can probably raise that. So we can do a taste test. We're obviously going to need some non-halcyon water. Just grab that from here. Weather's not improved yet, unfortunately. This is what good dogs Albie's are going like. to be very jealous. Yeah, oh, this yeah, is what yeah. good dogs are like. Oh, wow. It's not exactly taking up a lot of space back here, is it? Very simple installation by the looks of things. Just 
pop it on the pipe. I lost an entire kitchen cupboard to the water softener at my old place. I wish I'd taken a photo of it, but it's not exactly a photogenic thing, so you don't think to do that. Mm, actually, that's good. I'm actually a bit parched, so that's handy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna confess something. I do know which one's which, but I don't know which one's which because of the taste. I know which one's which because one's colder than the other. <laughs> and I'm assuming the cold one came from here? Is this, is the cold one from here? No, the cold one came from the office. You wanna have a go? Yeah, I think mine tends a bit more refined than you, my palate. Wait. No, I can taste, I can taste the difference. Definitely softer, so that one's got a bit more of a metallic taste. Almost like if you were going to a swimming pool drinking fountain, that's how that one tastes. This tastes like it's come out of a, a glass bottle from, from the fridge or something like that, and this one definitely tastes from like old pipes. <laughs> is as best as I can describe it, old pipes. If you lived in an older house, you, you know what I'm talking about. That, that tap's been in situ for about seven years really? since we um, fitted the new kitchen. Yeah. And uh, that has boiling water through it. That tap is clean as a whistle. And we actually yeah. had to just clean out the, 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 the system for something else this week. Yeah. And there's no trace of anything in our, in our system, which is quite nice. When washing your hair with hard water, it makes it terribly, terribly frizzy. And you can buy the best shampoos and conditioners and everything, but it's in your shower head. It does help reduce the, the frizziness of yeah. hair. Mine may not be the best example, but I promise you, <laughs> it does help reduce the frizziness. And we've got a lot of customer comments where people go, my eczema's still there. They haven't, we haven't, not, we're not cured for anything, mm. but they talk about the, the skin just being less irritated, less yeah. dry, it's less aggressive, and so, there is a, a, there's like a lifestyle improvement and yeah. we're not gonna over promise. We're not, as I say, we're not a magic wand, mm -hmm. but it does have the ability to actually um, positively impact on those bits in people's lives. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure. Thank you for the time and uh, coming to see what we do. All right, we're just in the middle of a quick comfort break. Yeah, it's a long drive back. I just wanted to say, firstly, a big thank you to Samantha and the Halcyon team for being great hosts and um I, I i found it really interesting i when i saw the product and i compared it to my own personal experience with a water softener i was just blown away i wish we'd had that i really do so i thought that it may well be something that would be of interest to at least some of this channel's viewers it ticks all the boxes for me and it tastes like normal water, which is a really big thing because water that's been through a water softener does not taste like really normal water at all. I couldn't believe how crystal clear and clean her tap was in comparison to almost any other tap I've ever seen, quite honestly. There's so much hard water in the UK and a lot of people just don't bother with a water softener. My mum hasn't bothered with a water softener in her new house, which I'm sure is a decision that eventually she will come to regret, but you know, for the first few months, it's, it's not a problem because it takes a little while for the, for the lime scale to really build up, although actually, to be honest, it builds up pretty quick. So I wanted to raise awareness of this product because it's just something that I wish I'd known about. And if you guys are interested in having a, a Halcyon fitted at your property, there's a link in the description which will give you a discount. And it's a, it's a referral link, so also I will get something which is, you know, nice. <laughs> nice way to support the channel there and also hopefully make your property better and easier to live with and I had no idea the product even existed so yeah we're on a bit of a raise awareness campaign for that one we've just stopped to charge the car it is still horrible weather outside which is the one thing I don't you know I'd like it if the charges were covered because you know anyway I hope you've all found it interesting and useful as well if you have remember to leave a like and share it and subscribe if you haven't already you can follow me on instagram and x link in the description and i want to say a massive thank you to my patreon supporters because you guys are awesome and i'll see you all in the next episode of my vlog bye